got back from um, six days in the UK, back here home in Italy, last last night, and uh, have subs subsequently found out that um, my brother and his wife, who I was in a lot of company with, they both tested positive for COVID, and um, I've had a quite a, a rough chest all week, but I smoke a lot, so. Um, I was putting it down to that, uh, and on leaving, in this area I've had very little human, I generally have very little human contact anyway, um, and people have been, are quite careful and about distancing and wearing masks and things around here. In the UK, completely different, as if there was no problem at all. Um, and um, Manchester Airport, for example, there, the security queues, perhaps a hundred or so people in very close proximity. Out of them, um, only a handful had a mask on. I had a mask on. And um, I was relatively careful, or I was careful when I was traveling about masks and distances as much as I could be. And, um, keeping my hands clean. Um, Saturday night, I, uh, it was the Tidesville Carnival and I got very, very drunk and did slip quite a bit with precautions. Like, um, precautions went to the wind. Um, I was kind of bubbled with uh, staying at my mother's and my brother and his wife were there as well and did see one or two other people. Um, but anyway, with the contact I've had, I'm very likely um, to be positive on this test. Last night, Marinella picked me up from the railway station, and on the way back, we got a. We just heard that Nigel and Leslie had tested positive, so we got a, a test, uh, and that one um, proved invalid. It uh, showed up uh, the test with a line, but with no line for the control, so that was no no good. But well, that was just got from a supermarket on the way back. This morning, Marinella, um, she, she was working in the testing until recently, and um, this is like medical sources. She'll have got it, and um, a, a COVID-19 antigen rapid test cassette, lateral flow immunoassay, Blah, 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 blah. Documentation for it's amazing. Um, so I'm just about to try that. I think it's very, very likely that it'll come out positive. And here we go. She suggested doing the... Um, where are we? The... Nas nasopharyngeal swab type, type. You can do just nasal according to this, but... Either way, it means sticking this thing up your nose and getting it soggy. Uh, so here we go. Oh, I hate this. Tip head back. Keep that more or less horizontal. Arrgh. stuff, whatever it's called. Let's <laughs> go in there. Rotate it around a bit and left for a minute. Ugh. Oof. Of course I've not got a tissue.
<sighs> God, that is so unpleasant. Um, she also, Marinella also dropped off the uh, oximeter, um, which I've already had, had a go with, it seems. Um, SpO2 is at 98. And I've been told that if it, it went to worries when it drops below 97. When it drops below 90, then uh, you better consider medical of intervention. 96, 95. Oh my God, it's got 94. It's going down as we speak. My heart beats at uh, oh, 95. So it's about 95. Heart beats at about 100. 96, going back up again. Uh, heart beats around 100, which is high for me, but uh, it's nerve wracking this. So I think that that's had about a minute. I need to squeeze that out and dip it up, dip Three drops into the test finger me. COVID-19 AG. <coughs> <That's not tough. coughs> <coughs> 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 okay, it seems properly squeezed out. Three drops. And two. Now we need to leave that for fifteen minutes. <coughs> Well, that was pretty definitive. Um, I was going to do a time lapse of uh, 15 minutes of it de developing, but it went lit up like a beacon right away. And after the 15 minutes, just very clearly positive. Well, that's what I was expecting. Um, I'm not not overly worried for myself. Um, I'm. I'm asymptomatic enough that the small cough I'd got, I, I was putting down to, I was trying to use a vape machine and I went to the UK, uh, which didn't suit me at all, which made me cough a lot, and then changing the brand of, of uh, tobacco. And so I was putting down to having a slight cough, as just like smoking, like nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, fatigue, yeah, a little bit of fatigue, but I have been travelling and... Uh, socialising, I'm not used to socialising, so that was really fatiguing, staying with my mother's. And uh, I mean, what was fatiguing in the UK was um, the main topic of conversation seems to be how rubbish uh, Boris Johnson and Brexit are. And there's Union Jacks, Union flags flying everywhere. And uh, well, somebody must have voted that way. Um, 
So anyway, it looks like I'm isolating for a week, which, which is annoying because I would like to have Marinella's company, uh, but you know, I don't see that, no big deal. Um, and yeah, a bit more vitamin C, vitamin D, yeah, yeah just a bit of irritation. Um, but I, my mother's quite vulnerable and I think it's pretty likely she's got it. She's got other health conditions, so that's a bit of a worry. Uh, and my, my father and his wife, um, they, one of the reasons for me going to the UK, the main reason for me going to the UK was to visit family, because I've not been over for about five years and uh, not seen my brother for 10 years. And uh, uh, my dad, I only saw at about 10 paces distance in his garden, because uh, him and his wife are, are positive. They, they are both a bit poorly with it. Well, yeah, rather poorly with it, but uh, isolating. So, um, anyway. <laughs> Julio, Julia. <laughs> I'm in for a quiet week. So it goes.